Have you ever mistaken a red flag for a romantic gesture? Let's delve into a common scenario. Imagine you meet someone who instantly showers you with affection, compliments, and gifts. It feels like you've stepped right into a fairy tale, doesn't it? However, this intense affection, also known as love bombing, can be a major red flag. Love bombing is a tactic where someone overwhelms you with affection to quickly establish intimacy only to abruptly withdraw it, leaving you gasping for their approval and attention. It's a manipulative strategy designed to make you dependent on their validation. So, while it might initially seem like the ultimate romantic gesture, it's important to recognize that a sudden flood of affection can be a sign of manipulation, not true love. So, remember when the affection feels too intense too soon it might be time to take a step back and reassess. Quality time is important, but how much is too much? There's a certain thrill in the early stages of a relationship, that honeymoon phase where you want to spend every waking moment together. But there's a fine line between enjoying each other's company and completely suffocating each other. Imagine this, if you're constantly with your partner, to the point where other relationships in your life, friends, family, even yourself, start to take a back seat, that's not healthy. It's not about quantity, but quality. It's about spending meaningful time together, not just time. Constant togetherness can lead to isolation from other important relationships in your life. It might look like deep affection, but it can also be a sign of controlling behavior and unhealthy attachment. Remember, a good relationship thrives on balance. It's about enjoying your time together and respecting your time apart. Balancing your time together and apart is key to a healthy relationship. Saying I love you too soon can be a warning sign. Now we all dream of hearing those three magical words, but timing is everything. When someone professes their love too early, it might seem charmingly impulsive or sweep you off your feet romantic, but it can also be a red flag. Why, you ask? Well, true love is about understanding, connection, and growth, all of which take time. You can't truly love someone you don't know well, can you? So when someone declares their love prematurely, they might be more in love with the idea of love or perhaps the idea of you rather than genuinely in love with you, the person. Sometimes it can even be a manipulative tactic used to make you feel obligated or to fast forward the relationship. Remember, love isn't a race. It's a journey that takes its own sweet time. True love takes time to grow. It's not a race. Texting non-stop isn't always the sweet gesture it appears to be. Let's face it, in the thrilling rush of a new relationship, frequent messaging can be quite exhilarating. It's like a constant reminder of the person who's begun to mean so much to you. However, when the incessant pings start to feel more like a barrage, it might be time to take a step back and reassess. A constant influx of messages, especially when it becomes intrusive or demanding, can be an indicator of a partner's need for control or a sign of their insecurity. If they start to get upset when you don't respond immediately or if they demand constant updates on your whereabouts, it's a red flag. This behavior can lead to an unhealthy dynamic where one person feels suffocated and the other feels entitled to their time and attention. Remember, communication is key, but so is space. A balanced relationship understands and respects the need for personal time and space, even in the digital world. Do you feel like you're constantly being watched? It may seem like a sign of concern or protective nature, but constant monitoring is a red flag. It's not just about someone wanting to know how your day went, it's about them needing to know every detail of your day, every interaction, every message. This intense scrutiny might feel flattering at first, like you're the center of their world. But be cautious, as it can quickly transform into a controlling and abusive dynamic. They may want to check your phone, know your whereabouts at all times, or insist on having your social media passwords. This is not a sign of love, but an invasion of your personal space and privacy. A healthy relationship thrives on trust, not tracking. It's about understanding that you are two separate individuals with your own lives and activities. Trust, not tracking, is the foundation of a healthy relationship. Jealousy and possessiveness aren't signs of love, but red flags. This is a truth many of us may struggle to accept. When your partner bristles at your conversations with others, insists on approving your outfits, or becomes agitated at the mention of a new friend, it's easy to mistake this as a sign of deep affection. But unfortunately, there's often a more ominous reality beneath the surface. You see, jealousy and possessiveness are not about love. They are about control. They are about having power over another person's actions, decisions, and personal freedom. It's a form of emotional manipulation, and it can pave the way to potential abuse down the road. 
In a healthy relationship, your partner should trust your judgment, respect your personal boundaries, and celebrate your independence. Genuine care isn't about control, it's about trust and respect. So, the next time you see the green-eyed monster rear its ugly head, remember it's not love, it's a major red flag. Let's recap the red flags we've talked about today. We started with love bombing, that overwhelming affection that can quickly turn into manipulation. Then we touched on the dangers of spending too much time together, which can lead to isolation and controlling behavior. We also discussed the weight of saying I love you too soon and how it can be a sign of infatuation, not love. The constant texting trap was next, where nonstop messages could indicate a need for control. We highlighted the issue of constant monitoring, a serious red flag that can lead to an abusive dynamic. And finally, we talked about jealousy and possessiveness, behaviors that can easily masquerade as intense affection, but often indicate potential manipulation and abuse. Remember to trust your instincts and look out for these warning signs. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more relationship advice. Thanks for watching.